Hi guys, uh, thanks for watching today. My name is Grant Bailey and I'm a sales rep with CW Hayden. Um, today I'm going to go down over donning and docking of a harness. Today I have the XOFIT X200 climbing and positioning harness and we're going to show you how to fit this right out of the bag. First things first, we get it out of the bag. What do we do with it? We're going to hold it up by the demon right by the back, shake it out, make sure everything's loose, everything's good, nothing's tangled up. From there, per OSHA, we need to do an inspection before every fitting um, of your harness. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start with the webbing. I'm going to start from the web back. We're just going to check the webbing for any uh, frays, scratches, uh, soiling, rips, tears, anything like that. Make sure your stitching isn't being pulled. Go right down the back side. Come up. We're going to go back down the back side. Check the webbing, stitching. Make sure that's all intact. All these grommets aren't twisting, they're all attached. From there, we're going to go over to the front. We're going to go down the left hand side here. Make sure your webbing's all intact. No burns, holes, tears, rips. We're looking good over here. There we go. Now we have our inspection out of the way. The other thing we're looking for, there are two tabs here on the back. These are impact tabs on the harness. They will release at five to 600 pounds of pressure. If those have been torn, we need to get rid of the harness and get a new one. That's gotta be taken out of commission. That's been through an impact. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, put it over my left shoulder. Go ahead and put your right shoulder over. This should be nice and loose. So we're gonna start with the legs. That's very important. And I'll show you why here. So we're gonna take this, gonna put through the tongue and loop. And then we're gonna put the extra through the keeper here. Next, we're gonna go for the right leg. Let's go through the hook and loop. Put that through the extra keeper here. Now, on the back, we wanna make sure this is tight enough. The reason we wanna make sure that this is tight enough is we have the femoral artery coming up the inner thigh. Uh, any impact, if you can picture anywhere from 800 to, to 1600 pounds coming up on your body, you do not want this to ride up into the femoral artery and do damage. How we're gonna set that is there's a strap that goes across the back here that needs to be below your seat. That is what you're gonna land on and that'll keep the harness from riding up um, upon impact. Now that we have that set, it's nice and low. The sternal piece is below the butt. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the chest piece across. On the sides here, we have our cams. We're gonna tighten that up. I like to say, take a deep breath. <sighs> tighten those up. That's gonna give you some wiggle room. Now, we have a properly fitting X200 harness. I have my keepers right here. If I need to put SRL, um, any clips in there, these will come out. As soon as it yanks, it comes out with five pounds of pressure. And we're good, we're all fit. So now, take it off, just reverse it. Take those legs out. Take it off. We're gonna find a nice locker to keep this in somewhere cool, safe, away from the elements, and hang it up. That's, uh, that's the donning and doffing today, folks. Uh, go out and get yourself an X200. These are super comfortable and you can stay in them all day. Thank you very much.